in the skies above Compton, California, we discovered a hidden gem. A free after-school program churning out young pilots. Yup, that young. It was this, this one. Point. I had to see for myself what it was all about, so I came to meet aviation students like Tasneem Khatib, who's learning to fly long before she'll ever drive. It's a great experience. It makes me feel like I can do anything. Tasneem is only 11. She's been studying aviation since she was nine. Kids can like learn a lot of different things about aerodynamics and, and math and science. Jose Pineda is nine. He calls himself a veteran with three years under his belt. I'm going to be up in the air is like it's a once in a lifetime opportunity that you can't explain within words. One of my future goals is to be a pilot, of course. Of course, considering the fact that he's been training since he was six, Jose could fly solo in another seven years when he turns 16. The man behind the youth outreach program is Robin Petgrave, a pilot and entrepreneur who founded Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum and Flight School to give inner city children an alternative to the streets. When a kid learns how to fly, they learn discipline, they learn um, uh, self-control, they learn time management, they learn why all the stuff that their teachers are cramming down their throat is important. Math, history, uh, communication skills. Petgrave's inspiration, the Tuskegee Airmen. It's all dedicated and named after a specific Tuskegee Airman. They've autographed this airplane. That way they fly with us forever and their legacy will never be forgotten. To ensure it, Petgrave, who volunteers his time seven days a week to keep the program going, gets a little help from his friends, like former Tuskegee Airman, 89-year-old Levi Thornhill. What does this program give the children here in Compton that you think uh, that they wouldn't get elsewhere? Hope. Hope. H-O-P-E, hope to do something that they really are interested in doing. I want them to be able to have a shot. After school, students must complete their homework. Then they can spend time on a flight simulator and learn about the aircraft. If they want to earn flight time, they have to work for it by sweeping floors or washing planes, anything it takes. Keelan Hubbard has been in the program since he was eight. At 16, he's ready to solo. What I'm getting out of here is that I've been put in an advanced pilot slot when I go to the military because I already have my certificate. I already know the basic instruments, know the basic maneuvers, knows everything basic about flying. As Jose prepares to fly, reminding me he's been at it since he was six, I politely decline and tell him I'll wait till he's at least 12. Instead, I send my producer, Sonia Hamasaki, on Jose's flight. Jose flies like a pro, like the commercial airline pilot he aspires to become. For Jose, Tasneem, and the others, the sky really is the limit. Thelma Gutierrez, CNN, Compton, California.